Hello and welcome to Lorfing and you play Dragon Quest Builders 2. I am your host Lorfit and in today's Dragon Quest 2 Builder Guide, I'm going to show everybody how to build the Oasis from getting the materials and how to exactly build the Oasis. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more uh, Dragon Quest uh, Builders 2 content like this. So we're going to get to the first step right now, which is the materials, where to get them, and how to find them, and what type of materials. Now, first up, we're going to be making worm food. However, we're going to need two types of material. One part grass seed, two part night soil. We're going to demonstrate right now you need that. So, in this video up ahead, we'll, I'll show you where to farm the grass seed and the night soil to make worm food, which is very uh, dire to uh, make. So, here's the uh, grass seed. Now, first up is the grassy seed. You see these muddy hands? Very easy to kill. Look for them in swampy soil or uh, rotted earth. There is right there one grassy seed. That's one down now. Next up is the night soil to a farm. Both methods. There are two methods to get the night soil, which is a uh, require for the uh, worm food. You need two night soils in order to uh, make one worm food, as long as you have the grassy seed. Now here's method one. However, you do need to create a room that NPCs will use, which is the toilet room. Here's the recipes for the toilet room. It goes as follows, besides walls and doors, one towel, and you will do, and one pot, and you will do. That's very simple. And all you need to do is just make that room a whole bunch of them and have NPCs come over who are not busy and use it. They'll use it once per uh, day. So here's a demonstration. Now, after the NPC uses it, they leave a yellow heart. That means it's ready to be farmed. Grab the heart, obviously, and then go check the pot. And there's your night soil right there. You need one of those. That is method one to do. Make many toilets as possible so NPCs can use them. Now method two is these zombies. Look for uh, swampy or uh, rotted lands. They spawn by them. All you need to do is just keep on killing the zombies. They sometimes drop uh, night soil. See there you go. There's your second night soil right there. If you run out of uh, pots to farm, go look for zombies. They appear deathly at night. So let's get to the next part. Now why the worm food is important? Well, you're going to need to drop the worm food over uh, sand. And if you cannot see any sand, then either use a item that gives you sand or use a trial tool by hovering over the sand and create sand. And once you see the sand right here, all ready to go, drop your worm seed and I'll make a uh, lemony grass. You want lemony grass around the oasis. This is just a demonstration of the worm food and the materials you uh, farm for it. See right there, it's near water and that's a little part of the oasis right here that I just demonstrated. Now you want to make uh, terraforming uh, tiles. It's a tool that transforms uh, certain parts of the land into sand, which you definitely need. So I'm going to create that right now. Now, real quick, for the ingredients for that, it's really easy to find. All you need to do is smash up rocks, big or small. You get stones from them, that's part of it, and sand. Just bash up the ground with your hammer. You get some uh, sand and stone. Then you can make that tool, just in case you need some sand. Now that you have the uh, materials to make the oasis, and the tools, here's how to uh, make them. Now, here's my map of the oasis, which is south of my uh, marker on the map. This is what your uh, oasis should uh, look like. You want to make sure there are uh, lemony grass and uh, palm trees, uh, clean water with uh, sand as the uh, bottom, and the mountains clear. Yes, that's correct. You want the hills and mountains to be clear, so this way you have a nice and perfect oasis. So I'll demonstrate each three uh, parts. Now, in order to fill the uh, basin that's uh, empty, besides uh, making the bottom full of sand, you need the bottomless pot. This will get you uh, clean water. You need clean water. If you cannot find clean water, go to a location to do that, then come back here. Now, once you do get the pot, uh, next step will be actually filling the uh, oasis with water. So, I'm going to show another screenshot of the oasis filled with water. Use the bottomless pot and just keep on filling the oasis with uh, water. One tile height is fine, or I say one block height is uh, fine. Just fill the entire area 
full of water and then that's all set to go so now the next step is the uh, lemony grass and uh, what size to uh, do that around the water now the next portion is the uh, lemony grass uh, around the uh, water of the oasis now in order to make lemony grass I showed you before it was warm food seed on the sand make sure you have sand as your uh, canvas it has to be 9x9 nine nine. the screenshot right there shows you already been complete which is 9x9 nine nine. 9 blocks by 9 blocks once the sand is 9 blocks by 9 blocks near the water's edge drop your uh, worm food seed in the middle of that and it'll turn into a uh, lemony grass make sure you have palm trees there too just repeat the step around the water and you have your lemony grass around the water now the next portion is if you get stuck and you got 13 of 15 or 14 of 15 which is clearing out the mountains and hills now you have got yourself one block height of water and uh, 9 by 9 uh, lemony grass around the uh, water and you're wondering why I'm at 13 of 15 or 14 of 15 and I cannot go on it's very simple it is the uh, mountains and hills that are blocking away yes you need to clear out the uh, mountains and hills that is your uh, step that most people do get stuck on and they do not realize it well my video guy is going to show you why you should clear these mountains out it is very important to clear out just use your hammer powered up just keep on clearing out the mountains it's very powerful at this point take care of the mountains and hills I'm gonna keep on doing it until it's done and here we uh, go if you see this message right here that means the oasis has been done and complete let the message finish what will happen is you'll see the oasis with the one block high water let me grasp that as nine by nine around the water and mountains are cleared out so here's the next portion now after farming the materials after uh, making a one block high water like I did in the video uh, lemony grass that is 9 by 9 with uh, palm trees on it and any hills and mountains or structures has been cleared out in the way of the oasis go over here to this red tablet and turn it in I'm going to turn it in right now that means you're done and finished once you see this message right here I'm going to skip the story portion so I will not spoil it at all well once you do turn in the oasis and pyramid complete you will get in the mood which is used to uh, spruce up your room's ambiance. Well, that is it for my uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2 how to build the oasis from farming the materials for it to uh, building the actual oasis and finishing the uh, quest for it. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.